Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Very, very special episode. Got a super custom bike, the epitome of custom bike. This doesn't get any more custom. I'd say this thing is 99% custom. Oh, what's this dude here next to me? Yeah, what, what are you doing here, <laughs> creep? No, this is my very good friend, Sean. He's my brother from another mother. He designed this thing. And uh, let's get into this thing and figure out what makes this thing so freaking cool. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. Uh, I make bikes into e-bikes. And I love all things bicycles, motorcycles, electrical things, making things cooler. If you like stuff like that, uh, check out my other videos. All right, let's get right into it. Sean, how long did this take you to, to, to design it? Roughly in hours. Probably about eight hours. Okay. Some of it is just learning the software that I'm not. What software did you use? AutoCAD LT. So it's just draws in two dimensional. That's a free plug for you, AutoCAD LT. <laughs> okay, so about eight hours. And then how much you, so he brought some tubing. He came from Chicago. I flew him in from Chicago. He brought, how many pounds of tubes and metal did you bring checked into the airplane? One crate was 69 pounds. And then the other one started out at 115 pounds and we had to shed some weight so Southwest would take it. So he brought so. two like wooden crates that he like built around to hold all this like the metal plates, like the custom parts that we didn't want to fabricate here. And like the rear dropouts, the front dropouts and the front fork. What else did you bring? Oh, the rear rack. We didn't put that on. Rear rack, yeah. The headset components. So just a bunch bunch of stuff. How much do you think that cost you? You said you spent about, not costing like machining because a couple little parts you had to take to a machine shop, but just in raw material. Would you say about 150 to 200 bucks? I was going to say 150. Yeah. And then I spent 150 on this. So we're all in about 300 bucks for material to build this. Yeah, in steel, handlebars, seats, and all that stuff. I was able to find a used fat bike on KSL here for 60 bucks. So I was able to take off the, the handlebars, the stem, the wheels. So all of that, I mean, plus 60 bucks. So we got a steel for that. This thing costs about 400 bucks to make. And then we had to pay somebody to like machine in here. That, that, that was a little bit extra, but going forward, we could do that ourselves. So let's go right into the specs on this thing. We got a 52 volt, a 17 and a half amp hour battery here. You could see you could fit another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here. You could get creative, put another one here, another one here, and another one here probably. You could probably put about eight batteries here. We got the BBS HD motor. We made the bottom bracket to be like 110 millimeters. So we put 120 millimeter Bafang BBS HD motor on it. We got a 36 tooth Lecky chain ring up front that's going to the Sturmy Archer RK3 internally geared hub. It's a three speed internally geared hub. So we were able to use a single speed chain on this. So it's super strong. I know a lot of people are like, they want to go belt drive. I usually say, if you're looking to save money, go single speed chain. Those things never break. Just take proper care of them. And if they do, they're like eight bucks on eBay for a new one or go down to your local shop. They're like eight bucks or way cheaper than multi-speed chains. And they last way longer. They'll last like 80% as much as a belt will, or maybe at least 70%. Uh, for a display, we just went with a basic SW102. It's like the 500C display, except it's black and white and it doesn't say real time power consumption. But other than that, it's like the same thing. It's got a throttle. Okay, so now let's get into the, the we, we spent about the last two days riding on this, we put about 26 miles on it. There's only one brake, one front brake. We put a 203 millimeter rotor on it with a hydraulic Tektro Dorado brake. So the front person is just here to steer and just did her to break. The rear person is just here to control power and select the gears. They're the power person. They're the steering and braking person. So each one has a very important job. We would switch off doing that. We've, how many times did we crash? At least once. I ran us into a curb once. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. And then we also hit, hit a couple other off-road dirt patches. We got 26 by 4.0 tires, front and rear. If you want to see the full length version of this thing, I'm going to put a longer version of this, including the build and just more extended footage. If you really like this, check that out. We're going to put a lot more footage of us just messing around, having a blast on this thing off-road. This thing handles off-road. Obviously, it's like a limousine. It's like taking a limousine off-road. 
We put a rear rotor in the back, but we didn't have time to weld up the rear caliper. So there's gonna be things for version two. What, what are we gonna do for version two? Second motor. We're gonna put a dual motor up sure. front. So we're gonna have to figure out the uh, a dual chain ring here, which shouldn't be too hard. Horns. We're gonna wire in some high powered horns. I'd like to put in a mirror here for safety because if you're up front and you're trying to see, this thing is unwieldy. And so it just, yeah, it's, it's kind of dangerous. I think we need mirrors. I, I'd put mirrors everywhere. I'd put mirrors here, 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 here. Um, stand over height, I would say this is like a 21 inch frame. It's, it's big, I'm six foot and I just barely don't rack myself. What else were we gonna do? Oh, a rear rack. He built a cool ass rack. It's got the logo and everything, Johnny Nerd Out logo on that. We gotta put that on. That's gonna be sick. That'll be in version 2.0. And we're gonna update these wheels. These wheels, they came off of a $60 online used score. They worked great for what we needed them for, but I think that this one will be due for an upgrade. Yeah, I think we're thinking about taking this on a long road trip, possibly, at least on a long day trip. Outfit it with batteries, put a rear rack on it, put some panniers on it. We could even take this thing camping, put like all of our gear on there. But here, here, really quick. I, you guys know that I'm a weak boy, and check this out. <laughs> That's good, that's perfect. So I can lift this up. I'm gonna say this thing's about 90 pounds. Would you say it's about 90? It's about 90. A rolling weight of like 500, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? It's about 11 feet long? It was just, yeah, it was just under 11 when I measured it and I was drawing it. Yeah, so it's about 11 feet long. So this is longer than a standard, standard tandem bike. So it kind of adds to that, like, limousine feel to it. All right, let's go do some uh, Johnny Nerdhouse hill climb tests on this, huh? So you can see this thing will not climb. What we had to do with that, so because the rear person is the throttle man, we had to zip tie the throttle down. And we have hydraulic brake cutoffs on here. So essentially it's, you hold the brake and then as soon as you let go, it just shoots you off. So that's how we were able to do that hill climb test with just one person. From a standstill, this thing isn't gonna do it. But with a rolling start, this thing, that boogie's pretty good with just one person on it. Yeah. What do you, what the top speed we got up to? What was it, like 36 or 34 maybe? When we went down that big yeah, hill. Coming down off that like bridge. Yeah, yeah, like low 30s maybe, low to mid 30s. It was kind of, I was a little freaked out because I was up front. So I'm gonna be the first one to smash into something. <laughs> and you had an airbag. This one has air, airbags back here, so you would've been fine. Yeah. What gauge steel is this and why, like it's super sturdy. This thing did not, this thing does not have flex to it at all. This, this frame is rock solid. So what did we use for, for steel? Inch and a half, 11 gauge. So this is the inch and a half, 11 gauge. Square tube. Square tube. And then this one was one, one inch square tube. This was also 11 gauge, right? So it's pretty much all square tube. I kind of like it, except for the seat posts are uh, round tube. Headset's round tube. Or head tube is round, round tube. And so are the, that seat post. I hope you guys like this. If you like this video, check out the longer version. Later.